Okay, so this is the bag. The bag's about 24 by 28. Um, it's ripstop, brightly colored nylon. Seems to hold the air pretty well. I sealed the edges with some aqua seal just to hold air a little better. It's securely attached to um, a three quarter inch webbing, which then attaches to the bag. Um, I've got a three eighths inch vinyl hose coming inside with a little grommet so it can't pull back out and that's where the air gets inside the thing. Um, the bag simply just folds up, rolls up, and then I've sewn a, uh, a nice little storage bag out of some Cordura to uh, hold the bag. Get all the air out. And then this can simply be attached to the bag either by the waist strap and the shoulder strap or maybe just by both shoulder straps if you want it over your head or off to the side. Now for the air part. The air part consists of a uh, commercial 48 um, cubic inch or uh, cubic unit I guess whatever. Um, PSI commercial paintball two or a canister which can be bought for about 50 bucks on Amazon. Um, it even comes with a handy dandy quick release which allows you to disconnect your bottle and reconnect your bottle pretty easily. And then this is just running into a quarter inch ball valve that I've securely attached which then runs back to that 3 8 inch hose and a butt connector. And then this would simply attach to the bag and that's how the air gets into the bag. Um, I put it in a box just to make it a little more secure and because I'm using a ball valve I need some sort of leverage on my ball valve. Simply close the ball valve. It opens. Um, I've attached it to a wire, which is actually an old throttle cable from a lawnmower. I even got the pull start off of there, which attaches to Velcro, which attached, which can be um, secured to the shoulder strap. Simply pull on the cord. It takes quite a bit of resistance, but it does work, and then that opens the ball valve and the air comes shooting out. Okay, so the way that this goes into a bag is pretty straightforward. The uh, Make sure your valve's closed. Air bottle. Um, I have to fill mine to about 1500 PSI to make sure that my bag fills, but it would uh, generally vary how big your bag was. Screw that in. Make sure all your valves are open. So that all the air is coming out of that canister. Connect your hose. Um, the air bottle just goes in the bottom of your bag. And as does the box. That's it. That can just kick around wherever in your bag. And then this strap goes over the shoulder, attaches to the shoulder, like so. This could be closed up, and with this hose, you could even run it through your uh, uh, hydro. Um, gap if you happen to have that, this bag doesn't have that. And here it is attached to the side of the bag which works fine for demonstration. There you have it.